science. In this video, let's go over how to find the least common multiple of two numbers. And I'm going to show two different techniques, and then you can evaluate which one you like the best. Remember, the LCM, or the least or lowest common multiple of two numbers, is the smallest number that they both divide evenly into. So let's look at two examples, and I'll call this technique one, technique two. This is using multiples, and the second one is using prime factors. Okay, for the first technique, we have 6 and 8, and we're trying to find the LCM. So what you do is you write out the multiples of 6. Um, 6 times 1 is 6, times 2 is 12, times 3 is 18, times 4, 24, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and the same here. 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 24, 32, 40. Okay, then what you do is you try to find the number that is found in both lists the first time, or the, the lowest of those. And in this case, it is 24. Okay, so the strength of this is that once you have the multiples written out, it's pretty easy. Uh, I guess the weakness is you need to know your times table and writing these numbers out. The next way is finding prime factors. And so you write out the prime factors. I like to use a factor tree. Like for instance, 6, 2 times 3 equals 6. Circle 2 and 3 because they are prime. So that's how I got 2 and 3. And then for 8, the same thing. 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 times 2 equals 4. Circle them. So that's how I get 2 times 2 times 2. Now what we do is you just multiply all of the prime factors together, with one exception. If the number is in both lists, you only multiply it once. So I'm going to have 2 times 3. I've already used 1, 2. Then times 2 times 2. Okay? And let me rewrite this down here. Okay? So now we have... 2 times 3 equals 6. Okay, so 6 times 2 equals 12. And 12 times 2 equals 24. Okay, same answer using both techniques. So let's work another example, and then that will give you a, a little idea if the, which one you like. Okay, so up next. Okay, let's try to find the prime factors of 9 and 12. Am I on here well? Okay, prime factors of 9 and 12. So, it is 9 times 1 is 9. It's 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, and then 12. 12 times 2, 24. 12 times 3 is 36. 12 times 4, 48, and you see the rest. And then I look for a number found in both of these, and that is 36. Okay? Now, I can use the same technique using the prime factors. Factor tree, we have 3 times 3 for 9, and then 12 is 2 times 6, then 2 times 3. I'll circle the prime numbers, and that's where I got 3 and 3 for 9, and 2 times 2 times 3 for 12. Now, I multiply them together, so I have 3 times 3 times, and remember, I have another 3, so I'm going to cross this 3 out, times 2 times 2. I'm going to go down here again, 3 times 3 equals 9, 9 times 2 equals 18, and 18 times 2 equals 36. Okay, again, same number, 36, two different ways. Okay, and I wrote prime factors there. That should not be that. It's just multiples of. And finally, let's work one more. And again, you can get a little idea of which one you like. Okay, now I've got it correct. I've got multiples of. Okay, multiples 1836, and here's where you can begin to see um, which technique has an advantage. Okay, 
First, I need to do multiples of 18. I don't know the multiples of 18 in, in my head, so I literally have to kind of multiply them out, which you may not enjoy. But they are 18 times 2 is 36, times 3 is 54, times 4 is 72, etc. And then the same with 24. I don't know the multiples of 24. I know 1 through 10. So uh, again, 48, 72, and this is a little time consuming. But if you will notice that you could easily find the first number that is found in both of these numbers is 72. So you have the LCM 72. Now let's look at the prime factors. The prime factors, finding the prime factors of 18, I find it very easy. I've got 2 times 9, then 3 times 3. Circle both of those. And then 24, 2 times 12, circle the 2, 2 times 6, circle the 2, 2 times 3. Um, and I find that pretty easy for this particular one. So I've written down the prime numbers, um, 2, 3, and 3 for 18, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 for 24, and then I just multiply them together. And remember the one rule, 2 times 3, um, I cross off 1, 2, and I'm going to cross off 1, 3, times 3, times 2, times 2. Now, that is one negative of this. You have to remember to cross off the numbers. If you don't, you're going to get the wrong LCM. And then I just multiply these together. 2 times 3 is 6, times 3 equals 18, times 2 equals 36, times 2 equals 72. So both of them, both techniques, same answer, different way to get there. And hopefully that will give you a little idea if uh, which technique you would use. Thanks for watching and Movie Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.